Well before Vasco da Gama landed on the Malabar coast and established a sea route to India in 1498, it was the Arabs who bought spices like cinnamon and pepper from India and supplied them to the world using a laborious overland route popularly known as the spice route dating back to almost 2000 BC. So when Prime Minister Modi announced the India Middle East Europe Economic Corridor IMEC for short at New Delhi's G20 summit this year, he not only cleverly revived the ancient spice route but with it also countered China's 1.3 trillion dollar BRI Belt Road initiative that with a decade long head start was already in 155 countries building infrastructure and gaining influence across Asia, Africa, Europe and Latin America stepping right into India's backyard as well in the Maldives, Nepal, Pakistan and Sri Lanka on each of which we have done separate stories meanwhile the us riled with its own internal politics and tired of being the sole policeman of the world began delegating its duties by forming subgroups like the quad which india is part of aukus and pgii with like minded countries who see china as their common enemy and form the i2u2 with india israel us and the uae specifically to implement the imac For India, the IMAC would solidify its influence in the Middle East, where eight million of its expat lives, and where Indian culture is already hugely popular. Prime Minister Modi, in his second term, has been laying out the red carpet for its leaders and strengthening ties with the Arab world. So committed is he to this outreach that he even sacrificed BJP spokesperson Nupur Sharma to show his commitment to his new friends. The IMAC also fits in perfectly with Saudi's Vision 2030 agenda, a country MBS has been furiously modernizing. And with over 240 billion dollars worth of trade with the Middle East, the IMAC could help multiply that for India many times over. It would also complement the existing international north-south transport corridor, which connects India to Europe via Iran, Central Asia, and Russia. While the IMAC promises to deliver goods from India to Europe in just 16 days, even bettering the 28 days it takes via the Suez Canal. Arguably most important would be the peace dividend IMAC could bring to the Middle East by bringing Israel and the Arabs close through trade. No wonder it is called much more than just a railway line or a shipping route. It's a bridge between continents and civilizations. But just when the excitement to implement this historic corridor reached a crescendo, Palestine's Hamas brutally attacked Israel and potentially changed everything. Israel's overwhelming response against Gaza led to a huge wave of support for Palestine on the Arab street that could well delay and even destroy Saudi Arabia's peace deal with Israel and as collateral damage make the India Middle East Europe economic corridor dead on arrival. Undeterred Prime Minister Modi is going ahead with the India part of IMEC laying the foundation stone for a container terminal at Gujarat's Kandla port and linking the country's several ports via rail ignoring the economics that the IMEC being a combination of sea road and rail routes will require containers to be loaded and offloaded several times from ships to trains to trucks leading not only to increased handling costs but also the possibility of breakage and therefore higher insurance premiums unlike goods sent to europe by the suez canal that are handled just once interestingly transport by sea is far cheaper than land or rail in india it is 816 rupees per ton for coal which is less than half the rail freight therefore coal that once traveled by rail from odisha to the western and southern parts of the country now take the sea route Similarly, goods traveling from the east to the west coast of the US are sent through the Panama Canal despite hefty canal fees. However, China will not sit idly by, nor can some conflicts of interest be avoided. Because IMEC members Saudi Arabia, UAE and Italy are also part of China's BRI and will have to find the right balance. Greece's Piraeus port is owned by a Chinese company and it also has a foothold in one part of Israel's Haifa container terminal. that the Adani group bought curiously just months before the announcement of the IMEC IMEC has some glaring omissions however with Turkey and Iran and those with close ties to the latter being bypassed Turkey made its displeasure abundantly clear at being left out we say there is no corridor without Turkey and quickly called China for a meeting on the trans caspian east west middle corridor and proposed a competing project to IMEC India however believes that including Iran as a stakeholder in IMEC is a sure shot way to ensure its stability 
Apparently, India has brought this up with the US as well, but the latter are not too keen on Iran without it agreeing to their preconditions. Be as it may, the IMAC is a good opportunity to showcase India's benign nature as opposed to China's more malevolent BRI, whose projects often aggravate climate change, leading to soil erosion and water shortages. Whereas IMAC will use renewable energy for data cables and hydrogen pipelines. And while China's chief intention seems to be to push lower income countries into debt traps and take advantage of their weakness, IMEC will create a $17 billion corpus to fund it themselves and not put the load on financially weaker countries. For now, the deal is only on paper and an action plan is expected to be announced by the end of 2023. In a famous parable, a mighty elephant was felled by an ant when it wormed its way into the elephant's ear. Will the grand plans for IMAC be felled by the actions of a rogue terrorist group and a trigger-happy nation? Bizbo's Limerick Grandly announced was a new corridor that promised to rewrite the history of yore. A spice trail reborn, a map redrawn, could help each one reap fruits worth cross. You will also find these sources listed in our video description section.